fellow penguin parents, I've had um, one or two parents email about spelling and writing and concerns around that. So I just thought I'd create a really quick video just to help um, hopefully alleviate any worries. So um, in terms of spelling and in terms of sounding out, year one and year two look very different. And we also have to be conscious of the fact that because um, children missed some of that time in reception and they're now missing some time in year one, that we're very much looking at the kind of beginning of the year one um, objectives when it comes to writing for the majority of children. So when they get to year two next year, it will be about spelling patterns and it will be about memorising and learning to spell words. A bit like the way you probably um, remember, as I do, those spellings um, tests every week and just memorising them. OK, so that they know how to spell those words. But year one is much, much, much more about creating a love of writing and having the children have a real confidence, self-esteem, wanting to write, choosing to write. And it's all about sounding out. So all of those phonic sounds that they learn, whether it's E, whether it's A, whether it's CH, OK, remembering these phonic sounds and using these sounds a bit like Lego bricks to build up to words, whole words. OK, now, there are some words like the ones we've been learning in phonics this week and the coming week, like the said and they, those key tricky words that actually they can't use their phonics to sound out. So these ones we say to them, oh, yeah, that's a key word. That's a tricky word. So I'll tell you how to write that one. So, for example, if they were writing the sentence, um, let's have a think. So they're doing their nonfiction books. So lions. So the female lion hunts for example nice simple sentence first of all no rubbers please um we rubbers are um, banned in year one anyway but also we encourage miss revelina that that mistakes are great it means you're learning that's okay don't worry about rubbing it out we'll just cross it out with a line um so the so for the you would say oh don't forget your capital letter well done the that is a tricky word and in school we actually go t-h-e um, but you can help them with that one. So if they haven't memorised that one yet, you can say, oh, that's there. That's a tricky word. I'll help you with that one. Now, lion. I would expect that a lot of year one children would write l i yon. They might even miss out that off there because actually with year one children, they get the initial sound or the first sound. They get the end sound. They struggle a lot more with these middle sounds, which is why we encourage them to stretch the word out so that they can hear and write those middle sounds. Now, if you can try and take a bit of a step back when they're writing, keep it really lighthearted, keep it really smiley. Um, so that don't say well, that's not spelled properly because Miss Revel and I would love to see this. This is the kind of thing we're expecting to see. If they do know how to spell it properly, brilliant. If not, then that counts because they're using, that's a plausible attempt at using their phonics. It's the lion, um, what was my sentence? Oh, it was the female, whoops. Oh, but then you could say, here, look, I'm modelling. Oh, silly Mrs Berry's forgotten that I wanted to put here female. So I'm just going to add it up here. Let's see, F E, and they might do this. Mm, A. They might write it like that. And again, plausible, fine. It doesn't matter that that's not spelt correctly. To me, I'd be really happy to see that because I can see that they're using their phonics. So the female lion, unce, and you would just say, oh, stretch that out. Again, lots of children at this point are probably starting from the bottom for their letters. So if you spot that, don't say anything at the time, but afterwards I'll show you what to do. So the female lion, unce, uh, very good and full stop there brilliant and that to me is a perfectly acceptable year one sentence so please don't get too hung up on the spelling with them if you spotted for example that you would say oh my star for you is your letters are on the line you've done really good sounds now if i had a wish for you my wish might just be let's just have a quick practice with our h's at starting at the top so 
nearly all of our letters we start at the top and you might just get them to have a go at a row of that but the main focus must please be on and I'm sure you're all brilliant at this the positive so wow you've written a tricky word fantastic sounding out also try to remember that their attention span at this age is really just 15 or 20 minutes so it might be that with the literacy work you want to do the picture and the labeling and then you go away and have a learning break and come back to it before you do the sentence work two or three sentences um, written well at a time is absolutely fine for this age that's the kind of expectation but as I said you know and you know I've been there with the home learning <laughs> Um, I know it can feel frustrating, especially if you're a perfectionist yourself, if it's not spelt perfectly, but it's really about their relationship with writing. And what we want as teachers um, is that they want to write, they choose to write, they're picking up a pencil and they're really engaged and they want to start their literacy work. Whereas if they're kind of, um, if they're hearing perhaps, well, that's not right or um, this is how you should be doing it or let's rub this bit out. It's going to be just slowly chipping away at that self-esteem. So try and keep it really lighthearted, smiley. And like I said, year one is all about the love of writing. It is not about perfect spellings by any means. Thanks, guys.